Oh, sat in the YouTube KP tutorial six threading the ARP scan. And excuse me if you hear any snivelling, sneezing, and or coughing. I have got got a cold. I've got man flu, but I'm still gonna do this. Now we're gonna be threading the ARP scan, and it's not that type of threading or this type of threading over here. Okay, first thing we do is import threading. All right. The reason we want to do this is we want to make the scan a lot quicker, a lot faster. Okay, let's get rid of this line here because it's useless. Right. Okay. So what do we need to do? We need to create a thread object. And let's call this ARP thread. Okay. And it's going to be threading dot thread and I always do that I always do the second letter of capital I don't know why okay so we do a colon and let's add a little comment here thread eyed threaded up scan now I'm probably going to be using another another form of um, scan in future tutorials rather than an ARP scan. It's going to be one of the options, but there's a lot of ways to do it. I do advise that you go to Draps TV on YouTube. Awesome, awesome channel. You can learn a lot of Python basics. All right, and also Sendex. He is a tutorial making machine. I think he uploads every 30 seconds or so. Well, not that much, but his tutorials are awesome as well. So Sendex and Draps TV. Really, really, really good channels, guys. Okay, so threading dot thread. Now it's going to take the arguments uh, self IP and nodes. The IP is going to be the host that we're going to scan, the target. Nodes is just the box. Uh, we're going to need that so that we can add the buttons, as you're going to see. All right, so we're just going to write the run function. Uh, and what we do is we basically just take this bit of code here. At first, it would be a good idea to uh, let Python know what IP is. So self.ip equals IP. I love having a cold. It's brilliant. Host to scan. Self dot nodes equals nodes okay now we're probably going to be having an arg uh, another argument in here um, later uh, but just for now I'm just going to do that <coughs> excuse me okay alright so we just cut this piece of code here Alright, I'm also going to put the code for this tutorial in the description. Alright, so everybody's um, up to speed with exactly the same code. Alright, because I did change a, a couple of things around. Alright. Okay. And let's just sort this indentation out. Okay, great. Uh, sort that out and the next tutorial is going to be great guys we're going to be uh, making the GUI stand out a bit I'm going to be giving you guys some free background and stuff that I uh, I designed if you want to use it then great if not then fine as well I encourage you guys to design your own you get more uh, satisfaction out of it now um, because we're threading the ARP scan uh, we can do the full range now. We won't have to wait five minutes for it to finish or three minutes. It should be done within five seconds or so. Okay, so for IP in range. Okay, so you can see here the IP destination. All right, we can change this to this is my subnet. 192.168.10 now there's a million ways you can do this okay you don't have to do it this way all right so this is just one example and it's going to take the string of self.ip okay which is going to be the host it's going to be from 0 to 254 if 
I'll change the range. Okay. And um, what do we do, want to do here? We want to assign a variable scan node and make it into a thread. Okay. We don't want to sell nodes. Okay, we're not selling nodes. We're self dot nodes. And we need to start a thread. Sand node. Ouch. That will cause baldness. Unless you fix it. Alright. So add a little comment. Make it a bit neater. Create a thread. Start the thread. This is obviously going to crash. Because I haven't spotted that I've missed the C out. That's fine. Okay. Now, let's go down here and let's run that. And if config runs lovely and it crashes, why does it crash? Python tells me down here. Aha. Sand node. Right, so let's put C in it. That should be all good. Okay. So let's run that. Up scan. Now Kivi's throwing out some errors here. Don't worry about it. It still works. There we go. Okay. So let's click it again. It might find a couple more nodes. Now you can play around with the timeout as well. Um, for for the uh, art request. Okay. So the timeout you can add to two seconds. It may be more efficient. All right, but as you can see, it's scanned all 254 nodes, and this is real time. I haven't fast forwarded it. All right, so that's great. Okay, so that's all good. Let's uh, scan that again. Let's just double check everything's okay. And we're all good. But there is a bit of an issue. Okay, let's run this again. Now, um, let's put a different interface into the text input, one that's not connected to um, a network. And I want you to uh, pause the video. Okay, so pause it right now and tell me what's going to happen after the scan's finished. It should find no hosts, yeah? But it's found three. Why? Well, it's used the WLAN0 interface to scan for, which means um, the interface name has been assigned and it's using WLAN 0 so it's not actually taking the text input um, as an input for the interface so we need to fix that so let's do that right now so put comma I face equals and it will equal the text input dot text which I do believe is called I face name let's double check it Let's just go up here. Also, we need to provide it into the thread. Let's just double check the name. Text input is called iFace name. All right. Okay. So, just a couple of lines. Let's put iFace there for the thread. And let's put it up here as well when we run the thread. Dot text. That should be all good. Okay, and we need to obviously declare that here. Self so dot face equals. I face and we can do is that going to conflict no 
self.iface. Okay. Now, let's see what happens here. Let's quit that. Let's reopen it. So, we've got WLAN 0, run, perfecto. Let's put E0, run, perfecto. If we scan this, there should be nothing that comes up. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to put any try and accept blocks in the code, okay? Which it will need just for error checking and sanitation and stuff like that. That's up to you guys, all right? I'm just giving you the blueprint for what you can do. Let's art scan that and look at that. That's brilliant. Okay. Let's scan again. All right, so 254 nodes, three seconds or so. Brilliant. Now, also, um, I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of the next tutorial. As you can see, the interface has changed somewhat. All right, I've designed some backgrounds and a cool spinning logo and some see through buttons and stuff. All right, which I'm going to give uh, to you guys for free as a download just to make the tool a bit more appealing. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. If you like what you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.